If you want to put your phone number on the BBC, we could get all the viewers to text you and congratulate you on pole positions and victories so you don't feel left out. Yeah, I, I, I think about it. So uh, you've got my number already. I, did, I don't get any text messages from you. So. That's the secret. Sorry, that's the secret. Yeah. Well, anyone, ask, you know, anyone asking himself or herself, uh, if you want Lee McKenzie's number, just, <laughs> just let me know. <laughs> Mark Webber in rather mischievous mood there. What do you think he's going to be like as a teammate, Sebastian? He will be definitely difficult to understand. And uh, hopefully, I hope that at the end of next year, I won't be walking through the paddock and say, no problem, mate. Thanks, mate. Oh, they, all, they all want to kiss you. I'm sorry, I can't kiss everyone. I can give David a kiss if he's interested. We'd like to see that. We'd like to see that. Oh, sorry, I'm a bit Once again, starting on pole. 14, remember. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, okay. So once again, starting on pole, the wet weather didn't quite close things up as expected, but you must be delighted with the way things went yesterday. We're just holding my hand there. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. I'm just holding on, I was holding on. I have a girlfriend, you know. <laughs> For how many years? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Back so, to Formula One. Back off. Um, <laughs> Yeah, looking forward to the race. Yesterday, obviously, was... Uh, what are you doing with your leg? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Just... Um, obviously, yesterday was very good. Uh... Many congratulations. You, you, you parked behind George or Dave. I mean, what's the point? <laughs> you just told me that you're waiting for the girls to come over with you in the Radisson <laughs> Hotel, room number seven or eight. But I think they've been standing all day, so I think they can sit down, no? I think yeah. you're, you're free. To, feel free to sit down. <laughs> sit down. Why well, you say sit down in Russia? Disappointing. Disappointing to get the penalty. Do you think it was fair? No. Okay, enough. Not enough said. Uh, but you had the best race pace on Friday, so you can still go for the win, can't you? Well, we'll see. I mean, that's why we're here. We are here to race. So uh, let's see. I think we have got a good car. It should be fine in the race. And uh, obviously, we're starting a bit out, out of position. So the main challenge will be to come back, come back through. How much of a benefit will the three DRS zones be? Uh, well, I guess if you're behind and you want to pass, it's helping. If you're in front and you want to defend, it doesn't. But uh, yeah, let's see. Obviously, we are a little bit behind, so uh, it could help. But I think it's a long race, so I don't think it makes a huge difference. It's a great atmosphere, isn't it? So many fans. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's great to be here. I think it's a great place, a uh, great track. So. Uh, it's nice to see that so many people came out this year. The weather is great, so uh, let's uh, let's hope to have a good race. Enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice race. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, it's not I a know. secret any longer, is it, Lee McKenzie? Oh, she's my looking word. very shy over there. Lee McKenzie. <laughs> oh, Lee, we've, sus we've suspected for some time that Sebastian's got your phone. Is that a promise? That is a promise, yes. And I, I don't pick well? it. I'm there as well. Really. Would you put that red dress again with that really... Okay, it's time to go, ladies and gentlemen. Sebastian, thank you very much. Uh, let's go and see who we can... <laughs> Sebastian, please, you, I, I must get one. I need to do one. No. Yes no. Sebastian, you made an incredible start out there. You did what you needed to for the team. Did the team do what they needed to for you, or how much did that strategy compromise you in a race victory? First part of the question, yes. No, but in seriousness, you did. You had a great start. Um, I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you. You said you're not a Ferrari fan. Everybody's a Ferrari fan. Even if they're not, they are a Ferrari fan. Even if you go to the Mercedes guys, even if they say that, oh yeah, Mercedes is the greatest brand in the world, they are a Ferrari fan. Though, so. a Fer I am a Ferrari fan. I was a Ferrari fan when I was little. I had two goldfish, Berger and a Lacey. Oh, your dad. Your dad. <laughs> <laughs> right, can we just do one question? <laughs> I know I did. This is true. It's bad. Um, just tell us about your race. You made that incredible start, but did you always know that the strategy was going to compromise you in the end? I tell you what, though. The two seagulls I avoided into turn one, some lap where Lewis caught up, I think, more than half a second in the first sector. They were definitely ca not called Alesi and Berger. They were maybe, I don't know, Nico and Lewis <laughs> trying to commit suicide, but I was breaking for animals. Lewis didn't. Um, but yeah, I know that has absolutely nothing to do with your question, but I'm uh, still mad at you. I'm going to lose my job if you don't give me one you question. I will, I will. You need to give me one question no, about the race, please. Please answer one question. Answer a question to Channel 4. 
police, well, I won't be here, so I won't know. Just answer me one question. I think you know what I'm trying to say. If Kimmy was here, what kind of things might he say to the audience? Well, I think he would be very happy because, uh, you know, he always like... <laughs> I See, I can't do it. I'm starting to... <laughs> That's great. I, I love, I mean... Well, Grand Prix is a challenging circuit. We all know that. Um, what is something that you do to stay ahead of the competition coming in to this, um, to this race? Well, Singapore in particular is, I think, actually the toughest race in the calendar. Mm -hmm. uh, physically, because it's very humid, uh, but the track is very bumpy, the track's very twisty, mm -hmm. there's a lot of corners, and it's a very, very long lap, and therefore also a very long race, so nearly or every, every year we are going the full two hours because there's no room for, for mistakes. It's one of my favorite races, so you know, even though it's tough, I like, I like coming in. It's a good challenge. For the race. You know, you're a funny guy, great sense of humor, great racing driver. Do you think that always translates? Amazing lover, come on. Yeah, amazing lover. Do you think that translates outside of this paddock? Do you uh, Rebecca Clancy from The Times, question to all three drivers. There's just 112 days until we're in Australia. What are your plans now between what are you going to be doing over the winter break? What are your plans? <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be counting the days. Can't wait. <laughs> Why didn't we have any grid girls today? They've sent me a text message that reads, yes, 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 eight exclamation marks. My man did it, four exclamation marks, and 12 smiley faces with, with love hearts in them. I think that's that. Do you think that's an overreaction, or is that how you feel about it? Um... No, I think she's got a point. So, uh, you know, happy wife, happy life. So, <laughs> I'm sure I could help you out. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sure if you ask Sir Jackie, uh, he will tell you that, you know. <laughs> Is that you pretending to be Scott? Back in the day, um, pole position was, was equally important. I got back to my room, I got changed, and uh, when I was in my underpants, Helmut Marco opened the door. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought the same. And uh, <laughs> he said, oh, you f that one right up. <laughs> I said, uh, what, what exactly do you mean? And he said, uh, yeah, turn five, I've seen it. You lost more than 500s. If you only copy the lap from Q2 in turn five, you will have pole. Because <laughs> the thing is, you know, what most people don't see, obviously this year has been a, a tricky year in some, uh, well, you know, and uh, <laughs> people always think that, you know, Helwood and me, we're like, you know, best mates and uh, actually the example that I'm just giving, giving you uh, proves pretty much the opposite. I think he was never shy of giving me <laughs> and probably never will be. <laughs> <laughs> so he came to my room, gave me a massive, uh, yeah, uh, bollocking for f***ing it up and not getting full position. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I nearly crashed the lab before. Oh. Really? Close. Oh, that's, that's, that's comforting. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. It's okay, better you driving than me. Yeah. I'm missing my Italian class. Really? Oh, that's it. <laughs> so you met a lot of Italian horses today. You can yes, tell in your, I definitely <laughs> you did. <laughs> you think there's about 700?